Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, just like the title says, and as you can see on the screen, Madden leadership changes yet again. And this is about, as you can see, this is by a Game Informer, guys. Game Informer News. Uh, this article was written by Matthew Cato on this date, guys. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. I'm going to let y'all go, go through it with me. Um, it says, Madden senior producer Carlos Guerrero is no longer with Electronic Arts EA after violating undisclosed company policies. So whatever that is, guys, whatever he violated, it must have been serious for him to just be getting there and just for, for them to just let him go like that. Um, you know, maybe sometimes you get warnings, uh, you know, you get disciplinary actions, but they don't exactly let you go. So whatever it must have been, it must have been really big, man. It must he must have really, I don't know if he, whatever he did, it must have been really big for him to just let him go like that. Um, it says here the statement from EA. Due to behavior that is against EA policies, including our global global code of conduct and respectful workplace policy, Carlos Guerrero is no longer with EA. We don't have any further comments. And that's and that's a stern thing to say right there. We don't have any further comments. They're done with it. So whatever he done, guys, it sounds serious. When it says due to behavior that is against EA policies, including our global code of conduct and respectful workplace policy. Respectful workplace policy. Wow, guys. So maybe it was disrespectful. Whatever he did, guys, it had to have been serious. But then they just up and let him go like that. It says Guerrero was at Blizzard for many years and was involved in some of its most successful titles like Overwatch, World of Warcraft. This experience was seen as a key to helping fulfill Madden's current goal to make the series more of a live service model. And if you guys don't know what that means, when they say live service model, that means kind of instead of making a yearly uh, Madden, they would just continually uh, have a live service that you pay for and they will just give you updates as they make something new let's say they come up with a new picture new feature it'll just be a live service they just put it into the game everything they do just put it in the game and make a continual thing to always improve Madden instead of going year to year uh, progressive Madden that way so it says Roy Harvey is serving as executive producer until the spot is filled and while Guerrero's departure will not change anything for Madden NFL 19, in case you guys are wondering about that, it could impact the series as development for Madden 20 starts. So guys, you know, when we look at the history of Madden, guys, and we talk about Madden football being behind MLB, being behind 2K, you know, they're just behind, guys, behind people, because they've had consistent development consistent leadership consistent uh um producers um and we've been having so many um producers guys gameplay producers we we, we just keep changing madden gets behind because the direction of the franchise keep changing and we're hoping when when guerrero came in it seems like he was going to keep the train rolling he actually was talking about some good stuff man making a game consistent making a game balanced across all features and stuff like that so whatever he did guys it must have been serious um obviously um mr roy harvey has taken over um so we're gonna see guys he's gonna be the new executive producer for now until they find somebody else obviously this was uh uh, it seemed like it was something that just happened right out of the right out of the like out of nowhere kind of blindsided uh, it, said, it must have been something serious like I keep repeating myself but it says EA, EA Tribune and the Madden series also went through big changes earlier this year when longtime creative director Rex Dixon left in May so guys and it also says if you want to go to this page you to hear some of uh, Guerrero's thoughts on the franchise during his relative brief tenure, click here. But you, you guys have probably heard all that by now. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, that's it, man. 
Carlos Guerrero is now gone. They are now looking for a new executive producer. And right now, Roy Harvey is taking over. No more bad news for EA. We're just hoping it doesn't affect Madden's future, guys. Um, it's just up in the air. Madden just can't stay consistent right now. Um, you know, it's just the leadership has not been consistent like all the other franchises, guys. It's no, no longer to go on, guys. That's the news. Um, as we find out more, as I find out more, I will let you guys know what's going on. But uh, hopefully you appreciate the, the information, guys. If you did, hit the like button. But if you're new to the channel, guys, this kind of stuff happens all the time. I will bring you whatever comes out. I will bring you whatever comes out. I will bring you whatever gameplay comes out. I will bring you whatever trailer comes out. I will bring you whatever news comes out. So hit that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports. And man, we can grow together. And as always, hopefully, I will see all you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching.